Hi everyone, <clears throat> I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos and I'm back with another case card class, a little bit different this one and um, it's using the bow, bow builder punch and washi tape. Now it's the first time I've used this punch so it's, you know, I've been saying to myself you must work your way through your things, you buy these things and they just sit there and <clears throat> anyhow, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I saw this card on Pinterest. It was put on there by Jeannie Stark. And I just thought, wow, what a gorgeous card. And so, so fast. I'm going to be doing it in different colours today. I'm going to be using um, the pink sort of pink, pink colours instead of these blues, which are knight of navy. But isn't that just beautiful? So this is a good way for you to use up your scrap card and your washi tape. So let me show you what you're going to need. I'm using the sentiment, the happy birthday from Fairy Celebration, but really any long um, sentiment will do. Um, I think the longer the better on this one, but you could have any sentiment really. So that's Fairy Celebration. We're using a white, Whisper White card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we'll do that now. And I have three different washi tapes. Um, on the other one, they were obviously um, the Knight of Navy sort of colour scheme. These are pinks and um, these are just some that I had lying around. So I thought I would try these three. And I'm using Melon Mambo. Um, to, now this is a great way to use up your card scraps because the bow... Um, build a, a very small pieces so you don't really need that much now to make the bow um, you need two of each apart from the middle bit so you need to do two lots now I don't think that's big enough to do the whole lot so what I'm going to do is I'll do it this way that's one and then I'll go in and do I'm only going to get that out so that's two, oh no, that's one of those, one of those. Now we need another. So that's two of those, one of those. We need one more of the bigger piece. We'll just go in and... So just a great way to use up your scraps, really making a mess here but never mind let's just clear these bits off very right okay now to make your bow like i said you need two of those two of those and the middle bit now taking your bone folder you just need to curve these pieces so we're going to curve that one and curve that one because we need to bend that over and we need to just curve this as well because it's going to be bent around the bit in a minute and what I'm going to do is just take in my fast fuse now I'm going to do this I'm just going to put a little bit there I'm going to do it off camera because I've got a, a you know sticking a mat for oops she says So all I've done is just put a little bit of fast fuse there um, it's just otherwise it will stick to my and just hold that down and then you need to do the same again I'm just putting a little bit there I could have moved my mat but so we're just doing those two pieces like that and then just put a piece on the end this side and just put those two pieces together like that and then with this piece so I put a bit on the end on both ends I should say I'll just show you in a minute so I've literally put fast fuse on all of that and what we're going to do is we're just going to wrap this around 
like that and that is your bow like that there you go and then you'll just put the tails underneath it like that right now for the washi tape um, decide what way, what colors you want where and we're just gonna run a piece across let's just say there like that and then a piece down like back to the end Oops. like that I do all my cutting of the ends afterwards and then you want another piece going down like that and really it does not matter you could put it diagonally if you wanted to and then we have a piece going across like that now I didn't I do my stamping at the end so lifting that up we're just going to take that up turn it over and then taking your scissors just want to come in and snip all these bits off like that and then you've got all these little bits which we don't need and they've got stuck to my fingers get off me oh gosh covered in washi tape oh get off me get off I've got one bit that wouldn't go right okay so that's your washi tape done and then taking melon mumbo just going to ink up the happy birthday and we're just going to do that like that there you go and then all that's left to do is to put another bit of fast fuse on the end of both of these tails or you could use Tombow I just find that the fast fuse works very well for this particular project and then we're just going to put that down like that and then oops we're just going to use um half a um dimensional and stick that down like that and there you have it a cute um washi tape bow card and super super easy to make loving it love love loving loving it now you could hot glue it down if you're worried that it's going to come off but you know i think that's fine once it's in the card it will you know on, on the envelope and it will stay but how gorgeous are they and very very pretty very super fast and got something else off my shelf that i haven't used whoop, whoop. okay um i hope you've enjoyed <clears throat> this this quick tutorial um I think I did say that it was by Jeannie Stark. Do you know what? I'm all over the place today trying to get so much done. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, I will be back later as I have a big announcement to make. It's about a huge giveaway that I will be doing in the next sort of couple of days and week. So watch this space. I'll be back later with some super super cool news for you thank you for watching please like and subscribe and don't forget i do do my weekly giveaways too so if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and leave a comment on my videos and if you are a subscriber and haven't then please leave a comment and you'll be entered all right my lovelies take care i'll see you later Bye bye